What's up guys, so my buddy Austin's here in town this week. He's been doing a uh, seminar at my gym, doing, showing some judo that you can use for jiu-jitsu in no-gi, because again, that's kind of one of those things. There's not a lot of that information out there, understanding how to convert judo to no-gi. And so he wanted me to show him the way that I use the in arm drag to inside trip, which many of you have told me that's the Kochi, which he told me is the Kochi Gake, right? Yeah. The, the judo guys, they love to like geek out on the names. Oh, like, yeah, they, they love it, like the nomenclature experts. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's jiu like wrestling and judo, there's a lot of crossover between the two. We just call it different names. But anyway, <laughs> so he wanted to see that in the way that I set it up. And then I want him to show me how he sets up the uh, Kochi Gari with a foot, it's like a foot trip, foot block. Um, because again, it's using almost the same setup, slightly different. And so we'll go over that, go over the differences of how they're used. Um, and again, if you guys want to find them, I'll put his information down in the links below. Uh, so guys, hopefully you enjoy the video. So here's how I set it up. So basically when we're in this position, um, when we're setting up the, um, the grips here, the two grips that I'm looking for is a wrist traditional wrist or grip with a thumb up, and then this one was a thumb down. So these are the two grips just like so. Um, usually this will happen where like, if they're locked up here, we can go in like this and slide down. And then if he's like, a lot of times people are trying to grab wrists, if they grab this wrist, I can typically go on the outside and swing it around. And so now we're here. The reason why I have this particular like setup with the arms is because if you're gonna grip, break my grip, you break it to whatever side. So if you guys are watching this, Basic one, I hold always at the, the wrist of the bend because there's a natural little divot there where I can get great control. I can almost close up the space. Yeah. Now, at the same time, if he's going to break this grip, he has to break it towards the open spot of the grip. So he can't break it to the solid, right? Pull this one. Exactly. Pull it away from him. But if I go here, you pull it, you can go that. Or if I'm holding it straight down, you're basically your only option is to pull it away. Okay. Now, as we're doing this, with this one, it's the same thing. You'd have to pull it away yeah. that way. So they're not going to join, and then as you start pulling away, it goes where I want to. I'm like, I'm trying to escape, but I end up like a trapping right where you need you to. You go right where I need to, right. And so basically, in my position, I'm head to head, getting the grip here, and now I'm ready to go. Now, my grip is I pull it slightly to the center, I grab pretty high up on the tricep here, I give it a pull, and then I'm looking for that step, and then I'm pressing off of this back leg, and I'm going to drop, and as I'm dropping, my hand cuts to the hip here because I've got to make sure I close this space so you don't get up on top of me here. And I can get, and I get it. Now I'm trying to go for a uh, chest to chest position. So we're locked up here, gripping, gripping, arm drag to inside trip, and then closing. And again, that's one of my favorite takedowns. I like this for jiu-jitsu for a few reasons. One, a lot of guys keep their hips far back, right? They're out there like that. And so if I do this, I can get them to step forward. It works almost regardless of stance. Like if you switch your stance here, even if I pull here, I can still shoot in mm -hmm. and still get it because you're gonna go. Yeah, you're gonna I go all the way There's nowhere I felt like I could fall that like, put me into position. Yeah, so try that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we're here, we're locked up here in this position. So this one strips like we did earlier up in here, uh -huh. right there. And this one is the opposite? So yeah, that one's so turned thumb down. Where do you usually snag it from space? or? So a lot of times it's like, as I'm going, I can snag it from space and just go out. It's like, it's literally, it's literally, literally I, mean, like, I can go like right there. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I can just go out like that and drive. Or yes. if they grab my wrist, I can go out right here. I love that. But like a lot of times if we're going, yeah. Because we have the judo teams if you grab the sleeve like this, so like it's similar when you're here. Right. Well, I mean, like when I when I when I'm grip fighting the gi, it's very much a like, yeah, like yeah, you yeah, punch yeah. into. You don't like, 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 you know, like you don't grab it. It's like it's basically a shh yeah. right there, grabbing right. back. That's a strike. Yeah, it, it really is. Because like when I learned grip fighting from a judoka, mm. and so like when they're grabbing, it's not like here. It's like like yes. grip, gripping on the things yeah. very hard, right? So I don't know that that you that you nailed it there. Yeah, it's like a strike. So mm -hmm. same thing, so like I'm grabbing a lot of times here, it's like grabbing right, right out there. So, so here, on space, and then boom, you're reaching out for here. Right? A lot of times we're here, you grab here. Okay, now I'm, you wanna- And I'll lock those way. arms out. Because like if we're locked out, it's very hard for me. If they're bent, I can start fighting. But if they're locked Ooh, here, here, I now, like now, this, now we're head to head. I like this too, because I feel like I, being farther out, because we're more momentum to pull now. Yeah, so we're here, uh, yeah. so arm here, drag, pull, arm drag, Low, this, like uh -huh. right here in there. A little bit right about here. Perfect. So just, just below the shoulder. You give me a yank. Boom. Oh, yeah, clearing this to the side. Yeah. So here, reach, boom, lock it down, pull, trap, here. And the chest pressure. And then we're right there. Keep this leg tucked under my hip. 
and then basically right here. I love that. Position. Just keep going, going, grab my here, strip here, space, arm drag here, pull, pull, Koji Dock. And then as the knee lands, yeah. this hand is going off to the side. So like, go oh, to the double leg. Yeah, so, right. well, kind of just, it goes yeah. so what's happening, go stay standing for me. Yeah. So as I'm getting here, this hand goes to the hip here. To punch it? But basically, because what I'm trying to do is I'm getting to this position, and as we fall, I drive, and what it's going to do is because if, like, that, that made, that made if I fun. don't hit that down and I fall and I'm down like this, now I'm off in a bad angle, right? right, right. So I want to like let that, that arm cut across to the hip. I love that. Okay. And it probably assists with just like the drive. It does. Okay. So. Here, one, here, pull here, pull here, push. That's it. On top, good pressure. And then now, show me how to set up this, this arm drag to a, it's more of a foot trip foot right. block. Yeah, so, Shui showed me the Koji Gake, which I wanted to learn. Uh, in Judo, you see a variation where they fake a Sanagi and then go, I've stayed away from that even though I used to like it because even if it works, I end up with you on my back. Right. So, this makes a lot of sense now. I like to hit mine from space. So instead of locking up with Chui, and waiting to try to drag him, I'm gonna anticipate his arms are gonna be here, right? So if he locked up before, I'm gonna be here, okay? Look where this hand is, on the inside, okay? Here, I'm pushing him because I'm thinking ahead, I'm gonna pull him in this direction, I want him to push me back, right? Push, pull? Yeah, exactly, okay. Now, with our arm drag, I'm gonna go a little higher up. I want to grab as high as I can because I can generate a stronger pull. Okay. What I want with this, the Koji snap, is you going like this, almost as if someone were to be pushing you from the back. Like, uh, do you remember a second? Like, you're going to have to catch yourself. The arm drag is going to satisfy that, except sure. it's going to be a pull. Just like a push, it's going to be a sharp push. If you're pushing someone, it's a sharp pull with the arm drag. I'm not grabbing here and pulling. I'm grabbing, slapping, so make a sound, and that is gonna be the push, or the pull. Sure. Like this, equivalent, bah. See that sound you kinda hear, it, right, so here? It should sound similar to that. And I'm shucking him, a little higher up, shucking him here, clearing the arm. We're gonna have the foot in a second, but without the foot, here, okay? Now when we have the foot, a guy going like this, who gets tripped in the hall by his buddies, Right? He's gonna fall like that. So, arm dragged here, pulling, slap, clearing the arm, pushing to set this up. One, two, adding the foot now, back, down. My foot, points of contact, arch of my foot, Chewy's ankle. As long as you're, quick, yeah. yeah, so this part right here, as long as I'm below his calf, I should be good. I have more torque here, but a greater risk of him slipping over it. Gotcha. Stepping like, like that. Yeah. If I'm higher, I have a little less torque, but less of a risk of slipping off. Anywhere here is fine, it just depends. And, and you don't really need as much torque as really what you're doing is you're letting the power come from this, and this is just... Yes. I got gotcha. you. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a, one of those guys at the bullfighters who go, ole, and shuck. Yeah, you're like, Shee. It's a shuck. I want him kind of coming for me like that, like an angry bull, and I want to shuck him by me. Right? And, this, and this would be good for like, Guys that are going forward, yes. Because especially like you know wrestling types wrestling, or whatever, yeah. if we're like like right here, we're pushing right here. Yeah. Boom. It's hard in judo because we don't really do the pushes. We don't get any points. We get uh, penalized for pushing to another bound. So if Chu were to push me in judo, I'd just do this. Right. So he has aggressive mat pressure comes back against me uh, when he pushes. So you guys get penalized for pushing. Oh yeah. So if we're uh, on the edge here, yeah. The mat and you push me like this, I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. Oh. Shido, Chu, wow, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. So that, that's yeah. interesting because if you watch judo, a lot of times it's like you guys are like, yeah, it's like like it's, it's, dancing. It's like I mean, it's like they're they're, they're loosey goosey of dancing, and like if you watch them, even like when you watch a, I was at a Neil Adams uh, seminar, you know, a silver medalist in the Olympics, and I remember he would like start, and every time he would do it, he would always like he was almost like doing this like sort gliding, of yeah. yeah. So you're not like so in wrestling, it's very much like you get points for push ups and freestyle and record. You can right, yeah. So like so again, we're, we're very much like we're bullying you around. Yeah. We're controlling the center. So some judo guy comes out like I'm not gonna let this kid push me around. Like I, I get pushes back all the time. Right. Mm, got it. That's what I want. So I'm here. I'm gonna generate a little push, right? I'm, I'm in judo right now. I'm in jujitsu, so I'm pushing here, controlling again, pushing here. And now I'm gonna fix like I'm pushing, almost like I'm setting up a duck. Going under, except I'm gonna drag. So I'll go push, push, pull, right? So here, 
Stand loose, stand loose. Push here. From my arms inside. Here, push here. Now, and so one. Pull. One down. The, the, you were teaching this yesterday. The way that you like sort of generate this and find the timing for this is like we do this, we do this push. Yes. We're basically we're, we're filming for that body. That yeah, body. You know, I, feel, I, I, I don't like that. I'm not gonna get pushed. And around. then that's where we go here. Yes. Okay. That's it. Try it. Like, push. Push. Oh. One. Push. Like that. Push. push. <laughs> Now, on the arm drag, because this is different. So, if you notice, this, my arm drag's about here, and I'm pulling it off to the side from this way. The reason why I pull it this way, guys, is I'm trying to make sure I don't get redrug right there. So, if I get here to here, yeah, exactly. So, i got to be careful about that. But, yours is a little different. So, you're pulling at the shoulder. Now, what I notice about this is, like this, I can get me a, I get a hard step. Like, it gets me to, like, adjust my weight. But yours gets me to go way more forward. So what's happening is almost like the uh, the off balancing there is getting that shoulder to where it's getting my shoulder to dip forward yes. where it's like I have to step. So from yeah. here it's here. Yes. So we're going like you're going around yeah. here, here, boom. And as I'm sliding out it's here mm -hmm. and it's a smack. Yep. That and you could see now like you didn't you were nice and didn't didn't do the kick, but that, that was enough. The, the pull was strong enough where you needed the, the kick's a little bit of a bonus. Got it. And yeah. so when we do that, it's here, here. And as we're pulling, I'm coming yes. just right here. And tr try to do this Yeah. Okay. It's not, and so Koji Bari, for all you uh, nomenclature guys out there. All right, yeah, technically it's not a Koji Bari, but we're sweeping back, almost using our foot as a sasai. So, like, you know, here's a block. Right, and that's the same, sasai, same yeah. concept, except we're attacking it with a, a Koji sort of. Uh, uh, contact to contact. And I think it's really usable for what we do in Jiu Jitsu because even if, whether it's a wrestler or if it's like a, a pure Jiu Jitsu guy who kind of just yes. has it hips back, they're still typically oh, hinged at the hips yes, a bit. Yes. And so if we can use that hinge yeah. to go there. So I really like that. And again, and you know where my arms are going to be because what, what reasonable competitor is going to get pulled forward and land like that? No, that's never going to happen. Right. You know where my arms are going to be and then you can be ready to either Anticipate, take it a little bit wider, take the back, or be ready from the front with boom, going down, attacks, attacking his head and neck from a turtle position. And from my thinking is now too, is like let's say if I get you to like get really like, like heavy on that foot. Well, if you get heavy, like I try to go for this and you're doing this, all right, cool. Oh, yep. We're back to the I same one because if you get heavy, then you give me that the one that I was looking for. See, this is an interesting difference between the two. So if you think about like wrestling and jujitsu, we're very comfortable locking up being in here, right? That's that's yes. kind of our game. You know, not yes. everybody does it. A lot of times in wrestling, we would say off the tie up, yep. right? So you basically like you boom shoot before you get locked yes. up. Yes, yes. But a lot of your stuff, because in judo, like if you guys didn't know, so in judo, for instance, if he grabs this collar grip, right? I cannot take two of my hands and then turn and break it like we would in jiu-jitsu. The rules change now. It, you can now. I, I just learned this. Okay. Apparently you can't now. So you can't now. Okay. But it wasn't, like, it was. For the longest time it, they had taken now, I, I just found out about this. Okay. Okay. So, so it's been, it changes, the, the, the rules yeah. change, but there for a while I remember it would, you couldn't do it. So I remember I was listening to a judo guy talk about it. He's like, basically, we're trying to get our grips really yeah. aggressively because if you get some guy who's literally spent his life grabbing collars, you're not gonna be able to just like push it off yeah. with one hand, you're gonna uh -huh. fight it. But for stall like basically to get rid of stalling, yes. where we do this and it's very passive, they're basically you have to be aggressive and go. Right. And if you I don't even without the grip break, I'm still trying to get my hands on first because yeah. if I can ever have one more hand on than Chewy, I have double of the tactile information. So if I have if he has uh, this is a 50-50, right? Both of us kind of having the same thing. If I can he only has one and I can have two, that's a little better. Or I can really get greedy and go off the grip where I have two and you have zero. So instead of going here and attacking, I'm already entering simultaneously with my, my gripping. So I'm here, I'm grabbing and going off the grip. It's more effective if you don't, uh, with this drag, I might have more issues with it, with uh, the shucking mechanic, because you could kind of brace yourself. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and, you, and then with the gi, it's the same thing when you do it like after a grip break. Uh, and then the same side here, yeah. and pulling down. So this grip on the lat deltoid. Do cr cross, we do a cross like collar. Yeah, because yeah, um, we can go like cross collar. Yeah. It's the like same. There. It's the same pull. We're just trying to, to like in the lab. Well, I, I like this V, the snap down. How can we use the natural handles that are on the body in place of the 
artificial gi handles to accomplish the same thing. So guys, those were two takedowns, one from like a judo or jiu-jitsu wrestling sort of standpoint, and then one from a judo also getting into jiu-jitsu standpoint. Um, both of them are super effective in what we do in the grappling in the gym and uh, in competitions in jiu-jitsu. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and the philosophy that went around some of the gripping battles. I thought it was really interesting. Um, if you guys want to check out Austin, Austin, where can they find you? Bad Boy Medicine, baby. Uh, by the way, uh, Bad Boy Medicine, he is a... Uh, he was like, you know, into judo, was doing that all the time. Uh, what was it, won the US Open, all that. So done some big stuff in judo and then he decided he needed a fallback plan just in case, so he became a doctor. Help fallback plan. Um, <laughs> just, to, just to weaponize it so I can attack joints better. That's right. <laughs> um, if you guys want to check him out, Bad Boy Medicine, I'll put his links down below uh, for the judo stuff. And guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you next time. Thank you.